Morning. Welcome back to Iowa's Next. Today we're dealing with firewood. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, other other. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, other than we're going to stick it in the friggin' lathe and we're going to turn it into something. More or less, this is just me out here playing with my wood. Uh, this has been drying for about three years, I think. Two years, three years, somewhere. A couple of years. Uh, I believe it's elm. I'm not entirely certain. We're going to probably cut a chunk off right here. We're going to chuck it up in the, uh, the lathe. See if we can't turn a cylinder out of it. And then see whatever freaking creative friggin' stupidity I can come up with out of it. So, I'm going to take it over to my friggin', uh, what do you call it? Miter saw. And I'm going to cut this down. We'll find its center. Alright, that's the chunk of firewood that we got. We need to center this. I have a center finder. The center finder will still find center on a round piece of material. And just On the round, you use, there's a uh, little narrow one and then a wide one. The wide one is for square material. The narrow one you use on round material. And now you've got your, your basic freaking center on there. Center. All right. So now we're going to chuck this up in the lathe. We're going to see if we can make a cylinder out of it. And then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. All right. Now we put the frickin' four jaw in there.
All right, so apparently it was a little freaking goblet trapped inside that freaking log. I put some uh, Howard's cutting board oil on there. Not a sponsor. Nobody's paying me for that. That's just what I have to freaking use on cutting boards. And uh, now a goblet. This is my first freaking little cup that I've made. So it's a... Uh, it is a little shot glass. I don't do shots. I don't drink hard alcohol. Surprise. I only, I stick to beer. It, uh, you don't get crazy on freaking beer. You just get fat. So, for just a piece of freaking firewood that I had laying around out there, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I figured some things out. I learned a few things. Trying to hollow out the center of this, uh, with it in the four jaw chuck was impossible, dangerous. Uh, I didn't show it on camera because I was frustrated and I was trying to figure things out. I actually took it over to the drill press. I locked this thing down in the drill press with the, uh, the piece of uh, wood that was on the bottom of it. And I got out this uh, one three quarter inch Forstner bit that I've got. And I just freaking hollowed it out, hollowed out the center of it, and then I was able to just go in and shape the center of it on the lathe, which is what I should have done from the start. But like I said, I'm still learning how to do this kind of crap. It's uh, it's enjoyable. You know, it's like the lathe is relatively new. I've never really done much in the way of lathe work. The only thing I had, I had a crappy, shitty little freaking lathe over there. You can turn freaking spindles and that on there then i got into the pen pal freaking lathe and then i've finally now upgraded to an actual real lathe that you can do real things with and so i have to learn as i go and hopefully you learn as i go if you don't learn well it's probably because i'm not a very good teacher so firewood into something interesting i don't know what i'm going to do with it and i'll probably throw it in the fire pit but it can be used. Butcher block oil, safe for food contact. It'll freaking make it watertight, or not watertight, water resistant. I need to put a few more coats on there. But uh, we're going to call this little freaking project awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe, notifications, hit that like button. Bye.